Hey guys! So today's video is gonna be a little bit different because I'm on my way to the bookstore. So if you want to know what a bookstore in the Philippines looks like, then this video is just for you. the bookstore and I am beat and super tired because it's so hot outside but before I tell you guys what books I bought from the bookstore I'm just gonna take a quick break and have some merienda merienda is a term that we use for snacks here in the Philippines so on our way home I decided to buy some banana queue it's one of my favorite Filipino snacks ever it's actually just <sighs> fried bananas with sugar and I also bought some, um, this is called Toron. Toron is also banana, but it's wrapped with like a special kind of wrapper and also coated with sugar. I know this is really sweet, but they're super yummy. I love banana cake so much. Mmm, it's so good. You can actually make this at home, but I was in a hurry a while ago, so I just wanted some banana key right away, and I had to buy some. Hey guys, so I just changed into clean clothes, and now I'm ready to tell you what books I bought. So I have the books right here in this bag. I only bought three, but I really wanted to buy like six or seven. How I wish I was in Metro Manila because they're having two big sales this month. One is on February 9 in the Mega Mall and the second one is on February 16 to 25 in the World Trade Center. They're selling books for a really, really cheap price. And if you're living in Metro Manila, I am super jealous. I used to live there for three years, but now we're back here in the province and we're super far away from the big sales. Anyway, now going back to the books that I bought. I have three as I mentioned, and the first one here is 
The Little Prince by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. I told you guys in my previous videos how obsessed I am with this book. It's actually a novella. It's a story about a pilot who was stranded in the middle of a desert and there he meets the little prince. The little prince actually lives in a different asteroid and it was his first time to visit Earth. I love this book so much because it taught me so many things about life. You know, being adults and how we sometimes forget the child in us. You know, when we get so busy with their jobs, with numbers, with money. So if you're someone who's willing to try out children's and middle grade, I would strongly recommend The Little Prince. You will love it so much. I already have a copy of The Little Prince, but when I saw this, I just could not resist buying it. My other copy is a paperback and this one is hardcover. I just had to have this in my collection. Next one in my bag is... Is the Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Shabosky. I hope I said that right. I have been eyeing this book for a very long time now. I've been wanting to buy it, but I don't know why I kept on postponing it. But I finally have it. This book has a similar theme to J.D. Salinger's Catcher in the Rye and a separate piece by John Knowles. This is also a coming-of-age story. I really like stories like that because that is a very important stage in a person's life. I believe that's a time when uh, teenagers begin to discover who they are, their real identities, and they find their place in this world. And the last book in my plastic bag is a book that I've seen going around in booktube for a long time now. I've heard a lot of booktubers talk about this and I am just super curious to read it myself. And it is... Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe. It's written by Benjamin... I don't know how to pronounce his name, but look at all these awards! One, two, three, four. I bet this book is really good. So I'm really curious. I'm super excited to read this. If you've read this book, I would love to know what you thought about it. So that was my trip to the bookstore, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have plans to visit the Philippines anytime soon, I really hope you'd visit National Bookstore and Book Sale. There's also one bookstore that I really love to go to. It's called Fully Booked. But sadly, we don't have that here in Iloilo yet. I've been praying and hoping for that day to come. I've been asking Santa every Christmas to grant that wish, but maybe he hasn't heard me yet. So that's it for today, guys. I apologize for the messy hair. It's been really hot outside. Anyway, I'm super excited to read this book or reread this one. If you've read these books, I would love to know what you thought about them. My TBR pile is just getting bigger and bigger, but I think that's actually every bookworm's problem. So thank you guys for watching. If you're new to this channel, I hope you subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!